when a mysterious boom woke up a retired seismologist now living on Orcas Island. He emailed the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network. Researchers there track earthquake and volcano activity across the Pacific Northwest. We, we use these geophysical monitoring equipment to look for hazardous conditions. PNSN installed hundreds of seismic sites across the region, led by UW and the University of Oregon. Researchers checked those near the site of the boom for data on March 7th. First, could it have been an earthquake? Well, their initial mapping didn't show one, but they agreed to keep looking into it. There was a signal on our seismographs, but it was not the kind of signal that's generated by an earthquake. Scientists modeled data from different stations. It showed the boom getting to different places at the same speed sound waves travel. So they were pretty confident it was not an earthquake. Next on the list of their possibilities, could it be a meteor or fireball? Around the same time, Ryan Russell in Bellingham caught this video from his back window. They looked into whether it was connected but it was taken 15 minutes after the boom was clocked. PNSN consulted colleagues at the Cascades Volcano Observatory in Vancouver, which has set up both seismic and infrasound equipment near Mount Rainier. He wrote back and said, well, yeah, and showed us data that said, look, there is this weird signal and using my seismic stations, as he said, as an array, I can tell that the signal's coming from the north. So it kind of fits but it's not at the right time. There too, they saw a 10 to 15 minute difference crossing meteor or fireball off the list of likely possibilities. What that left was something man-made. They think potentially an amateur explosive like a firework. That will be up to other authorities to investigate. But they say that this is a good form of education on the types of tools we have to measure disasters in Washington state. In the King 5 Newsroom, Eric Zuko, King 5 News.